Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a another video. If you're new to this channel and you're into learning filmmaking, learning DaVinci Resolve, checking out cool gear and things of that nature, please consider subscribing for this channel. So in today's video, we will learn how to track text to a person or a object without going into Fusion, and it is pretty easy. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get right to it. Um, we're going to use this uh, clip of this dude on a skateboard. So let's uh, track some text. So first off, we are going to make a cut in our scene where we want our text to appear and where we want it to end. Then we just drag down a text and we're just going to make it fit our clip. And then we're just going to select the clip and go up to the inspector. And in the text, we're going to write our text. Dude making a jump. Really original text, but okay, fine enough. Let's uh, find another font. I use uh, Tahoma all of the time. And we'll make that bold. And um, we might as well give it some shadow. But first I want to add in a arrow here, like so. Turn that down and then um, let's give it some shadow. Let's go down in the inspector here to the drop shadow and just uh, offset that a little bit and blur it a bit as well. And then we're just going to size that down. And I'm just going to position the text where I want it, like so. There we go. And then I'm just going to right click and do a new compound. And I'll just call this text. You can call it whatever you want. And then just hit create. Okay, that's what we need. Now we go to the color tab here. And then I'm going to select the clip. I'm going into the tracker and I'm going to change it from window to stabilizer. And I'm pushing the three dots and I'm going down to change to classic stabilizer. And then I'm going to change it to a point tracker and I'm going to add in one of these track marks. And I'm going to position that some way nice in his head and I'm going to track it. Then I'm going to put, push the dot, dot here and I'm going to copy the track data. I'm going to select my compound clip, going to stabilizer, classic stabilizer, pushing the three dots and then I'm just going to paste track data. And with that done, I'm going to take off the zoom box here because we don't need that. And to make it more smooth, I'm going to make this a negative 100, like so. And then I'm just going to push stabilize. And that's basically it. How to track without using Fusion. So we can do some more things, of course, to our little clip here. So if we select our compound, we can uh, change the blend mode to color, but that doesn't look that good. So we'll use vivid colors instead. So now we have a little bit of an effect going on here. Also, we can change things around if we want to. I'll just push this back to normal. And then if we right click and we go to open in timeline, we can go in and change, for instance, the color of our clip to let's say a, a yellow like so and we're just going to double tap here to close down the timeline so now we have this ah, pretty neat, pretty neat so that is a super easy way to make this effect um, one last thing i'll just drag in a glitch effect here so now we have this little fun text and glitch effect. 
Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there is a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.